Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and today we're playing Craft the World, a game that's available as an early access game on Steam. Uh, it's an indie game and uh, they claim it's a uh, combination of Dungeon Keeper, Terraria and Dwarf Fortress, which is quite bold. Um, but it got elements in there, um, even Dwarf Fortress, though it's radically different. Anyway, um, we're gonna just jump into my running game and I'm trying to explain to you how the game kind of works. It has a good tutorial, but uh, playing through the tutorial is, well, that's something you should do when you get the game. I'm just showing you the game now and uh, how far I've come. Um, so, as you can see, you have your uh, dwarves and I think the, 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 the audio volume, the sound volume is a little bit loud. There we go, that's better. So, you have those neat dwarfs, and uh, I'll stop that for now, please. You, you do your stuff there, whatever. Um, you start with nothing, just this little pile of stuff, I guess, um, of your equipment, and one dwarf. And this dwarf starts to dig. Um, you dig by, well, um, clicking. Let me show you. Clicking on the ground, and then they start digging, like here. Uh, we click with the left mouse button, and they will start digging around, and you can also fell trees by clicking on the trees and they will automatically gather the stuff. As you can see, they're just picking up what's on the ground. Everything that can be used, they will pick up and uh, make their way uh, by themselves back to the base and just bring it back and you, then you got all this stuff in your base that you can use for crafting. Yes, there's a crafting system. Uh, as you can see, this is all I have. I have quad, slime, coal, stone. A lot of stuff. Um, there are a few slots available. So, as you can see, we can craft things on our craft table. This is kind of like uh, the Minecraft or Terraria principle, uh, where you can just, well, combine things to build new things, uh, like uh, furniture and whatnot. And uh, it shows you what you have researched, like the bed of leaves, I already built that one, and you need two leaves and three wood to build that one. Um, since I have only one wood and two leaves, I can't build it. Uh, it's nice that you, when you click it, it shows you what you have to do. Uh, for a table, I need to get a lot of wood, actually. So uh, we're going to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to explain a little bit more. Yeah, get all that wood there. And, of course, you have some mobs that you want to fight. Um, there's day and night time. In the night, more monsters come that you have to fight. Um, but for now, there's, like, this little snail. That does not do anything, but I can kill it regardless. Because, oh, it's a snail. It deserves to die. I don't know. No, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't, but we're still gonna punch it to death, so that's fine. See how that works out? Well, fearsome dwarves. Um, the graphics are amazing. Just, uh, they're just really cute. Um, well, they're not um, free. It's just 2D, but still. Oh, look at that bush that just grew there. But it's really with a lot of detail in there. It's really hand-drawn and uh, really like it. Um, that's a personal preference thing. Anyway, your dwarfs are, um, come here, come here, little dwarf. Come here, I want to click you, right? Was it right click? No, it was left click. I just, I'm not able to click that dwarf for whatever reason. That's kind of odd. It's still an alpha game, early access, so, um, bucks. Ah, there we go. Are to be expected. Where do I have click to get that menu? Come here, come here, dwarf, don't, don't be like that. Oh, that was, that was a good one. Ah, there we go. Now I click my dwarf and uh, I can tell him to go rest, to eat something, uh, to equip things with him or actually take control of him. Um, but if I go into the uh, equip menu, it looks similar to our uh, crafting inventory. Uh, you get like these stats, what he is, like a cook, his skills, what he's wearing, uh, the kind of tools he has. And I can give him tools like this club that I have in my um, general storage box, let's call it that. And there we go. Now he has a club and a good axe because these things are just these little tools is just what he gets at the beginning anyway if you build something and we should have uh, um, a lot of wood soon uh, let me see if i can actually if they actually brought enough stuff there um well where is it i have five wood i can build something yes so let us together build a mm, where is it a table Wooden table, I haven't built that one, so that's why it has this scroll around it. And if you click info, it gives you more info about the table. And we're going to build that now uh, by dragging all this wood over here. There might be a faster way to do this. Oh, this is how I know it. And crafting. And we build a table. There we go. Uh, it's here now. And we can now... It's now down here in our quick selection box and we can click it. 
and place it somewhere in the world. Uh, where would that? Where would that be? Well, there or what about here? Nope, it's too close to the bed. Too close to the thing. Well, let's put it here. That's fine. Outside of our shed. That it's not done yet. This is this is our uh, what do you call it? Base. Uh, I had to build those walls and those grass roofs. And he's now building our table. And we have tasks, especially in the beginning you will have a lot of tasks telling you what to do and uh, in what order to do it. And now that we built this wooden table, we can go to the craft tree, which will unlock more things to craft. You start here, you only have a club, then you build a torch. From a torch you can build a ladder and so on. You, you get the idea? So these are all things you have to research or build at least one so you can build next one or get the blueprints for that one. And have a look how many there are. That, that's, that's all the items that are in this game already. These are already in there. It's pretty insane. Like all these elixirs, a palm and a pot, pot trays uh, to decorate your uh, place, a sofa, uh, a leather chair, comfort bed. It's pretty insane. It's pretty insane what they have uh, here. So that's kind of neat. So you can build your own base. Um, remember, keep in mind, I just, this is just a tutorial level. This is the very first level of the campaign. Oh, who dug that out? Dug that out. That was not planned. That's, that, that was not planned. Anyway, now we have a hole in there. Whatever. Fine with me. Fine with me. So there, uh, everyone is now helping out together uh, materials so we can build more like letters or um, our shed. Let's call it the, the, the gnome shed, the dwarf shed. Um, okay, what else? We, we got needles. Where do we get those from? Needles are used to in working with fabric. This is really nice. Uh, they have like a little explanation to every item um, and they... You really don't get lost easily in this game. Um, it's a lot in the beginning, like, like what is going on? But you get the hang really fast. Ooh, a workbench. Workbench is necessary for processing wood to prepare complex objects. Ooh, I have, I can do this uh, because I already have a wooden table. I just have to remove that one. Um, I think I can just click it and they will remove it. And we can use it to build. Isn't that neat? Um, I think I uh, reduced the uh, music or ambient. With the sounds are really good. The graphics are really well made. It's a, it feels very, very polished. It feels very polished. Um, and it doesn't overwhelm you. So these are my current tasks I have, like build a workbench, a wooden hatch, and complete a shelter. Uh, complete a shelter by installing a totem in the center. It will scare off monsters and evil spirits. Wall off on all sides should protect the shelter, while entrances should be closed with doors or hatchets. So if I put a hatchet somewhere, that should work, I hope. Um, but we need more walls. So let's do that together right now, so you get the basic idea what I'm doing here right now, wooden wall. Okay, we need a lot of wood for that. One, two, three, four. And we get only one. Oh, that sucks. Not really. No, we get three. There we go. Now we can place those wherever we want to place them. Isn't that neat? Oh, well, yeah. Let's get rid of that. Remove the remove the letter. Remove the letter. And remove the letter. I need a suitable tool. Oh yes, also your uh, gnomes need tools, and I think he's pretty toolless. Our little friend here, our uh, little friend. <coughs> Excuse me, Owen. Owen has no real tools. Um, he needs a pickaxe, I think, for that. So let's build a pickaxe, I guess. If I have enough stuff for that. Uh, pickaxe, 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 stone pickaxe. Takes three wood and two stone. I don't have that. I can't afford that, my friend. Uh, the little thing I would have to criticize right now, um, from what I've seen, is the um, time. You can't ex uh, increase the time, the speed, so it is only play or pause right now. Uh, maybe that will be changed in the future. I've seen some complaints about that in general, so i um, really curious what's to, hap about, to happen about that. Um, Oh yeah, um, you get you can level up. I totally forgot about that. You have experience points. Like crafting things will give you experience points. What is happening? Dramatic music. Is there a monster around? Is there a monster? A monster. Um, apparently there's a monster. I don't even know what this is yet. I think this is where I have to go. This is like a store, maybe. Um, can they do anything with that? And he seems dangerous. So, um, yeah, you level up. This is really confusing why the music is not playing. It's really dramatic. Um, well, you're leveling up again. And as soon as you level up, you'll get a new gnome and you get a few items. Um, so you start with one gnome and you were wondering, where do the other gnomes come from? Well, are dwarves? Are there dwarves? 
I don't know. They're dwarves, actually. They're not gnomes. They're dwarves. I'm sorry, I'm calling them gnomes all the time. But they're dwarves. I always mix them up. But look at their magnificent beards. Oh, I'm under attack? Where? Oh, right there. From... What is that? It's like a beetle. Yeah, I should probably not send them to fight in the middle of the night. Um, the next monster wave will come about 40 minutes. Um, you didn't see the first monster wave because, well, I was not recording at that time. But it's basically like skeletons and... Well, you're gonna get rushed. Your base is gonna get rushed. You're gonna attack from every side and then your gnomes will have to fight off. So it's a good thing to prepare before that. Build some weapons and um, do all these kinds of shenanigans. Um, I wanted to build that workbench, didn't I? So let's do that. Um, where, what do I need for that? Where is the plan? Workbench. There we go. So we do need that. Do I have iron ore? Yes, I do. And do I have enough wood? I do. So we can build a workbench. Yay! Um, I wonder what I can build on this one. A wooden hatch. Um, well, let's build a wooden hatch. Why the freak not? No, that's wrong. No coal. There we go. Well, that was an expensive hatch. Where can I put that hatch? Um, I should probably take that one here. There we go. Just drag it down there. And let's see where I can put that one. It's, ah, interesting. That hatch apparently... Ah, I see. With the head can close off. Oh, there's a zombie. Look, there's a zombie. We're gonna kill that zombie. Okay, with a hatch I can definitely close off things. Um, in the ground. So we can have an underground base, which is not really weird for a... Oh yeah, kill them. Let Drop everything and just kill that friggin' zombie. Kill him. Yeah, the knight is always a problem. Come on, guys. Help him out. He's He's taking some damage. I don't like that. <laughs> it's so cute when they're fighting. Again? Wait, it's the same one. Ooh, I got a brain. Why would I need a brain? Why would I need a brain? Um, so we got that hatch. That's kind of neat. Um, just gonna put that. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I don't really have a place to put that. Let's... Okay. Um, what about... Well, what about this place, I guess. It makes no sense to put it there, but I'm putting it there anyway, just so I've put it down. I can always remove it. That's not a point. Oh, we have a skeleton. Can we please attack the skeleton and just, like, forget the rest? That would be... Well, don't fight on ladders. That's usually not recommended. Well, they're not doing too well. I should put on some uh, torches so we can see, actually. Put here one and let's put one here. And there it goes. So, uh, this might not go very well. Yeah, I'm under attack. So, I hope you got a basic idea. Um, uh, again, you can equip things. You can... Uh, you get coins, mana. It's a complex game. It's a little bit too much to... Um, what do you call it? Uh, to explain in one video everything. But uh, you should get the idea. The control is very... The controls are very uh, easy. Um, very easy to grasp. You'll be in the game within 10 minutes, so don't worry that it's too complex because they wrote Dwarf Fortress on there. It definitely has a lot to offer and a lot of variety. You can build a lot of things and you can uh, build your own base the way you want and dig really deep down, as you can see. This, this goes really deep down. I'm not even kidding you. This is, this is insanely deep. Um, I'm zooming out now. So, um, this is a normal size map. They can get much bigger, so as you can see, uh, there's a lot of things to explore and to do in here. Um, and this is only the start map. This is not like a leisure level. This is just the first campaign level or map. Ooh, what's that? I've never seen that. Some plants in the underground. I'm gonna explore that in the future. Oh, they're growing there. Yes, things slowly grow back like this pine tree. So you will not run out of resource like trees. Um, I think, I don't know if you can plant them. It's not important so far. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this was um, Craft the World. It's available on Steam. The link is in the description below. Remember, it's early access, so it's not done yet. They're still improving it, but it feels like it's, well, it's getting, it's, it feels pretty finished, to be honest. Like, maybe a little, add like a feature with the time and neat little things like that. But apart from that, this game is very, very polished and um, you should worry about like buying a game and then it never gets done or something. This is definitely close to 
being done. It's pretty amazing so far. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It really helps out a lot. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.